Hey everyone, welcome to Free Healing Made A You, My Autistic Life. My name is Nisi and this is my channel. Well, um, I did not do my live today, as many of you guys know. I did not fall asleep until about 3 a.m. And I was in a lot of pain all through the night. And I've been in pain pretty much all day today. Um, some of it is womanly things. I'm going through perimenopause and it's causing issues. And then some of it is my fibromyalgia. And I'm pretty sure my fibromyalgia is being triggered by stress. Um, all right. So I came here today because I wanted to share something very vulnerable with you. Um, and it's about autism burnout in the workplace. It's a real thing. And it happens to happens to people that don't even have autism. Um, when it happens to someone who's autistic, it looks a lot different. Um, we can have uh, what you call meltdowns at work. And I had a mini one at work on Thursday. I'm not happy about it. Um, I didn't get in trouble for it or anything else because I, I try to keep it under control as much as possible, but I was just really frustrated with my job in many, 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 many ways. And I'm feeling a lot of conflict of interest at my job because my son goes there and I advocate for my son and, um, I can't be as, um, hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't be as much of that parent because I work there. So I have to be a little bit more delicate when advocating for my son and I'm not used to being delicate. Um, I'm used to just saying what's on my mind and that's it. And not having to filter. Filtering does not come natural to me. So I'm feeling a lot of conflict of interest, especially since my boss is my son's special ed case or special ed uh, director, teacher, whatever. She's the one that writes up his IEPs. Um, and honestly, the culture of the school I'm having some issues with and some of the things I have to hear from the teenagers I'm having issues with and um, let's see how long have I been there so far let's see started towards the end of September so October December January February yeah it's only been four months and I'm already I'm already in meltdown meltdown burnout mode already I've got four more months left Four, four more complete months and then two weeks. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I've had a lot of conversations with my husband, especially over the last couple of days, about all the issues. And I'm not going to share them with you here, you guys, because it's, it's a very private situation. And some of the issues I'm having are confidential. Um, but it's gotten to the point where I haven't even felt like crocheting, you guys, because I'm just flat out so exhausted. I'm just exhausted and I'm not being able to be the mother I need to be for my son because I'm overly exhausted and I'm not being the wife I need to be because I'm overly exhausted and I don't have much time for me to reset and recharge because I'm full time with my son who's autistic and ADHD and to top everything off else off. I'm also ADHD. So my thoughts are all over the place and scattered and it's like, I can't process. Um, and uh, with my job, um, I don't always get a chance to process when things happen. And sometimes changes are made immediately and I have to deliver those changes to students that aren't going to be happy. And I, I don't even have time to process it before I deliver such changes. And then I'm having to deal with the backlash and it's just too much for me. It, it honestly is. I'm just going to be honest. Um, I'm not, I don't regret trying out the paraprofessional position. Um, I've gotten to help um, a couple of students that are um, uh, more severe autistic and able to tutor them and help them learn and um, help them with their classes. And that was 100% rewarding and a blessing, you know, hands down. But can I do this long term? No, I can't. There comes a time 
in a person's life where you really have to look at if a job you're doing is the right job, not just for yourself, but for the employer you're working for. And I don't think, I, I, the, I'm having a hard time finding my words, so excuse me for just a moment. The purpose of a paraprofessional is doing what's best for the students, period, 100%. You have to come last in a lot of ways. And with my mental health being what it is, and honestly, my medical health is not helping because I'm not getting the sleep I need because I'm in pain all the time. So I'm already on edge from the lack of sleep. And um, I don't think I can give the students my best. So I'm, I'm here having to make a tough decision. Now, can I make it through four months and two weeks? I'm going to give it my best shot because I like to see things through. I signed a contract and I would like to see that contract through to the very end and then take my summer off and let them know, hey, unfortunately, I'm not coming back. That's what I would like to see happen. Am I going to be able to do that? I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I don't have that answer. It's literally going to be literally, literally a day by day basis. And then we'll see if I made it to the end. I cannot say at this time. Um, I was so burnt out this weekend that I almost quit right then and there before I picked up, before I met my, up with my son to leave the house, to leave the, to leave work and come home. I almost quit that day. Um, but I also know being ADHD and being autistic, sometimes we can have knee jerk reaction to things in our burnout and, and, and while we're having a meltdown and we, we, it's either fight or flight for us. And I was definitely in flight mode, which is why I felt like quitting right then. Let me just quit. And I can just completely burn out and just go to bed and sleep for 24 hours and wake up and start my life over. That's, that's where I was mentally Thursday when I clocked out of work. That's not good. It's not good. It's not good for the kids that I'm trying to help, right? So this is a very vulnerable video. Very vulnerable. Very real. Very raw. Honest video. These are the things that I go through. A lot of times you guys see me on my life and I'm smiling and most of the time I am, I am happy and I, and I am truly smiling. What you see is what you get. Unfortunately, this weekend, this is how I am this weekend. Um, it's taken me a while to, to figure out what I wanted to say in this video because I haven't done an autism educational type video in a while. Um, because there's so many people out there that do better videos than, than I could ever do. And I kind of feel like, um, like Woodshed Theory and Gemma's journey, uh, Gemma's <sighs> Gemma's journey. <laughs> I'll get it here in a minute. And, um, a couple others are, they're just excellent. Um, but this is me and my channel is kind of all over the place because my brain is all over the place. So my channel literally represents the way my brain works. Um, so I'm downstairs in my, in my craft shop, having this conversation with you and, um, letting you know that I'm okay. I am okay. Um, and, um, I've got some phone calls I need to make. I need to make a phone call to my psychiatrist and be like, hey, is there something we can do to help me get through the next four months and, and calm my anxiety down so I'm not having meltdowns at work? You know, when you go in the bathroom and you lock the door and you pretend like you're going to the bathroom just so you can get away for a few minutes and breathe and recollect yourself because you feel like you're going to put your head through a wall, that's an issue, right? It's not healthy. Um, my anxiety is at an all time high. Like I have not felt like this since I worked in Florida and my husband, you know, we were a little worried about me going back to work if I was going to be able to handle it because it seems like the older I get, the worse my symptoms are getting and the harder it is for me to tolerate to be out in public. 
and um, it's getting harder. It's getting harder on me. So um, this is a full-time position as well. Um, and right now, finding a part-time position is pretty much impossible where I'm at. Um, I've looked. Trust me, I've looked. And there are part-time positions, but they want you to work on the weekends. I can't do that. I have my son, and my husband works on the weekends. I also can't work on Fridays because my son doesn't have school on Fridays. And then um, when he does have school, I have to be able to pick my drop my son off at school, and I have to be able to pick him up from school. Um, so my hours are very specific, and with these part-time jobs, what I'm finding is even though an employer says they offer flexible hours they actually don't they really don't it's not a true statement so I don't even know why they put that in their job ads because it's not true um and then summers my my son don't go to school in summers and he's not well, he's not old enough to be home by himself yet so I'm kind of I told my husband I feel trapped like this is the only job I can find and I can't handle this job so what do I do what do I do I've worked all my life. I'm not used to being at home, but it's looking like I may not have a choice. Um, I am looking. I did saw. I did see a job that's an accounting job that's remote. Um, I don't know what kind of equipment you have to have to do that job from home. So I may, I may apply for that job just so I can ask questions and look into it. That could be a possibility. But if it means I have to be on the phone a lot with clients, I I don't know if that's going to work for me or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what my future looks like right now. I just know that I can't keep going the way I'm going. It's, it's not good. It's not good for my family. It's not good for me. So um, burnout in the work workplace is real. It's real for everybody. Everybody. No one's exempt. Um it's just when you're autistic with, and then on top of that, you have ADHD and anxiety or anxiety disorder, and then you suffer from aggravated depression. Um, it just makes that feeling more intense, a lot more intense. And it takes me forever to process through things. So anyway, I say all that to say, this is why a lot of, uh, People that are on the spectrum have a hard time uh, keeping their jobs because they burn out. Um, and, you know, some some jobs can make a lot of accommodations, and it's great. The last job I had in Florida, my boss was awesome, man. She, she made so many accommodations for me, and it made my life a lot easier. And I was able to, I was able to be in that position for 10 years. That is the longest I have ever held a job was for 10 years straight. And then we moved here. Um, and I'm having to start all over again. So, um, and with this job, you can't, you can't ask them to turn the lights off in a classroom. That's just unrealistic. And all the light bulbs in that whole school are fluorescent. And I'm, I'm severely sensitive to fluorescent lighting. So I, I'm already having sensory overload right there. Then you've got kids yelling at each other and not behaving and being rude to the teacher and, and being vulgar and, and, and all these different conversations happening at once. So now I'm over, I'm overly stimulated by that. And it's just, it's just rough, man. <laughs> it's just a rough environment for me. I don't know why I was thinking, thinking I could pull this off, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. And I wanted to try it and I've tried it. Um, I love the tutoring part. I love getting to work with kids one-on-one. -on -one. That's where I excel, but having to be in the classroom, it's a little rough on me so we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens um but anyway so i had a lot of you reach out and ask me you know are you okay i'm okay i'm just in a lot of pain um and unfortunately it's a ride i just have to ride through and i just have to be gentle to myself and listen to my body and so i did i canceled my live and i took my ibuprofen i drank a lot of water today and I went to bed and I just, if I didn't, if I wasn't sleeping, I was just laying there and just resting, just resting. I did a couple of chores today, but I didn't overdo it like I normally do because I knew I needed the rest. So today was a mental health day for me and I appreciate you guys being supportive. I plan on going live uh, next weekend.
hopefully this week goes a little smoother and um i can go live next weekend um that's the plan anyway we'll see um but anyway as you can see i'm downstairs in my craft room talking to you guys i like it down here and just you know keep me in your thoughts and prayers you guys um four months really isn't a long time but in my brain it feels like a lifetime so we'll see we'll see what happens i'm gonna give it my best shot though for the for the few kids that i work one-on-one -on -one with i'm gonna i'm gonna give it my best shot and try not allow myself to get so um overly stressed out so um it's hard for me just to go with the flow a lot of times. It is. It's it's hard. It's not a strong point of mine at all. Um, I have to have time to process. And when I don't have time to process something, it's like my brain just goes into overload and just starts shorting out. And then my regulation button for my emotion breaks. And, and I can feel myself doing this. And getting ready to boom. And I can't stop it. It's, it's a horrible feeling. It's, it's horrible to feel like you're out of control of your body and your emotions and your thoughts. It sucks. I hate it when it happens. So, um, I got to figure it out. So I'll be making some phone calls. Um, yeah, I'll be making some phone calls <laughs> with my psychiatrist and, be, and reaching out to to her and be like SOS I need some help I need you to help me get to the next four months and two weeks um so that's where I'm at I'm just been I'm just being real with y'all that's that's where Nisi's at um I've been in lives a lot today kind of just hanging out in the background listening talking a little bit here and there um but for the most part just taking care of myself and I appreciate y'all for all your your support and your love so appreciate it and I want you to know that I feel it. I do feel it. And a lot of your uh, comments today on my community tab were very, very helpful. Um, I got a, a, te a text message and a private message from two of my friends um, in these YouTube streets that were very appreciated and very helpful. And uh, so I just wanted to say thank you, you guys. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. And just know that... Um, these are these are real challenges that a lot of us face and I think it helps to talk about it get it out and be real with each other and not always smile every single video that you have uh, I appreciate the people who can be real and can talk about days that they have that are just not great days I appreciate it and so uh, because I, I, I try to be very transparent in my, with my channel and with what I share with you guys and uh, I like it when I, I see that in others and I know I, I don't have to sit there and guess what they're trying to say and, and it's their their communications very concise and very clear and very matter-of-fact um, I appreciate that because I don't do well in the gray areas and trying to figure people out and so because of that I'm very to the point and very clear in my communication as much as possible so um all right i think i've babbled enough i really don't have any solutions to this video except for self-care is important listen listen to your body listen to your mental health and um if the situation gets to the point where i do have to bow out i will do it gracefully and, and I will, because I'll do what's best for the kids. Ultimately, it's what's best for the kids. Um, if I don't feel like I can do them justice and I can be there to help them in a way that the, I think they need to be helped. And I think if I, if I feel like I'm hindering them rather than really helping them, then I will resign my position. But if I can hang in there, then I'm going to do my best shot to hang in there. So I guess this is to be continued. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for your time, you guys. Y'all have a great night. I'm going to say goodnight to my boys. And I'm going to finish 
um, watching Kelly for maybe another five minutes and say goodnight to to uh, Kelly's Crochet Adventures and to all of our friends in the chat that are in there right now. And then try and get me some rest. So love yourselves, you guys. Listen to yourselves. And I appreciate every day you got. Each day. Each day. Appreciate each day that you're given. Always remember, dare to be you, dare to be different. Love you guys. Love from Montana. Bye, everybody.